things and saw ghosts, captains in the air, and the devil in the wild. Nobody knows what Mother needs there when she cursed newborn child. <laughs> talking about cbgiddy.com, my favorite place to get guitar parts. And Mr. Ben Giddy himself 
is hosting this little shindig here. And we are going to actually take requests as the night goes on to be talking to you. But for now, I'm going to just keep the boogie going. And I'm going to switch up guitars. I've got a whole arsenal of my live guitars here. First of all, the guitar I was playing. Oh, I'm going to bust this place. This is a uh, three string made by Glenn Watt from CB Giddy. Glenn, you make an incredible guitar. And yes, you are an artist. All right, let me uh, put that here. And uh, let me see. I'm going to pull this one out. My body, Judd. What's that? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Ben's making comments behind the scenes and you don't want to know. Oh, Lord. This guitar was made for me by Josh Caillou of California. I've been, I've been flogging this thing since 2009. And this is a song off of my last album. The album's called Holler. And this song is called Big Leg Woman Swing the Hammer. <laughs> Oh, 
behind the camera, he's trying to pantomime to me. And... We have a quick quit, well, it probably isn't that quick, but they're wondering what pedals you're using. You know what? We're going to do that whenever I take a break between the first and second set. We're not going to turn off the camera, but we're going to bring the camera in, and I'm going to go through all my gear for all you cigar box guitar freaks out there. So we're, I'm going to go, the first set will be about 45, 50 minutes, and then we're going to take five or ten minutes, and we're going to come take a look at all this stuff, do the Q&A, and then I'm just going to blow your head off the second set. This next song is also one of mine. And, uh, and you know, every woman wants to be swept off her feet, but they start to freak out when you try to stuff her in the trunk. You know, that's the name of this song. This song is called I'm Strung Out, Drunk, and Busted. And there's a body in the trunk. You want this song, go to shanespill.com to download it or go to cbgiddy.com to buy the CD. What are we drinking tonight? Unearthed Stout. Oh, that's good stuff. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> Oh, 
projects and everything else we got a lot more planned i want to say keep the comments coming we love seeing everybody is chiming in saying how great it sounds how good you're doing oh we sound good we were worried about that you know this whole thing is being done on my iphone restaurant in Alton, New Hampshire, that's owned by Les Paul's grandson, Stephen. And uh, I think I pulled this out there. No, I didn't. I didn't have this here. It was another broadcast we did that uh, I was saying that I've been pulling this, this guitar out. I've had this in my studio for years now. I bought it off of eBay from a cigar box guitar guy who was transitioning into becoming a regular guitar builder. He started on cigar boxes and was inspired to keep going. I hate to say it, but I forget who built this, and he didn't sign his work, and I've had this for a long time. It was a six-string, um, all-mahogany guitar. It's a semi-hollow body, um, gorgeous. The, the neck is like a baseball bat. I love it. But being that six strings are way too many for me because I just got this simple mind that can't comprehend six strings, I made it my five-string guitar.
guitar nerds out there, it's tuned to Open G. I'm sure you're going to be asking. <laughs>
tunes and we do some house and we do some Blind Willie Johnson and things like that but we also like to freak out our audiences by playing cover tunes that should never be played on on a cigar box guitar and this next one I've been doing for years I've probably been doing this one for about seven years now my god time flies and it's uh, by a band that uh, was a huge influence on me back Man, back in when I was in junior high playing drums. And you see, if you're a drummer in Pennsylvania back in the 1980s, there's only one band you listen to. And of course, I'm talking about Rush. No, I'm not going to play YYZ. No, but this is working, man, and I worked it up for a five-string cigar box guitar. And then as we would perform it, we started adding more songs, and they came spontaneously throughout, throughout our jams, because the band never practiced. We just basically put the band together in open mics and would just book gigs after that. But as we were in the middle of these crazy jams with drunken people everywhere, um, the song started to take on a life of its own. And now this, this has become a medley. It starts with Working Man by Rush. And then it goes into Hey Bo Diddley. And we realized another song that had the Bo Diddley beat was Back in the New York Groove by Ace Frehley. So we throw that in. And sometimes, I'll have to see how I feel tonight, sometimes we go into Ico Ico and, and a few others as well. It makes no sense. This medley makes no sense, but we don't care because it goes like this. <laughs>
switch up guitars. Cheers everyone. Anyone out there sharing a beer with me? Hold it up right now. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. What time we got, Ben? 8.40. It's 8.40, okay. I'm going to do uh, one more song here and then we're going to um, take a break. Not a break. I'm not going to stop this broadcast. Don't go anywhere. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring the camera close and I'm going to show off this gear so you can see what I'm playing with and then we're going to go back to the second set of the show. Hey Tim Wall, you watching right now? Thunderbird Guitars.
to you guys live online for anybody that wants to see it. Um, we have a lot of guys that are cigar box guitar enthusiasts that are tuning in. And I did want to take a minute out to tell you what I'm playing. And Ben, if you can uh, get the camera, because we're going to pan in on some of this stuff. Well, um, I'll tell you, Shane, we've had a lot of questions about this guitar right here, the pickup that's in it, what it's tuned to. Okay, it, let's start with this. There's been a lot of comments about how just dirty and... Oh, it's dirty. evil. Oh. It's freaking evil. A guy named Tim Wall of Thunderbird Cigar Box Guitars built this for me, and I only have had it for three weeks. But the whole thing is aged. Um, it has a Telecaster neck pickup in here. And you sell these type of pickups at Giddy, don't you? I, I believe that's where Tim got it. Okay, yeah. So this is a Telecaster neck pickup, but it's in the lead position. The guitar is set up just like my beat-up old Macanudo used to be. Um, 
Although he has a yardstick ruler. Um, on the side, he has a 357912 fret markers there. That's how I can keep somewhat good intonation as I'm playing. And he even has internal resonating springs, just like Ed Stilley's guitars in the Ozark Mountains. Um, and so he sent this to me, very generous of him. And uh, I fell in love, immediately fell in love with this. What's it tuned to? It's tuned to open G, G, D, G. And the amp I'm using, all you people are spending thousands of dollars on amplifiers. This is a cheap, solid state Fender, uh, $175 used modeling amp, simply because the tube amps I were using kept blew, blowing tubes. So I went to uh, Guitars on George in uh, York, PA, and bought a cheap modeling amp. It's a piece of crap. It's, it's a Fender Mustang. I mean, this is what teenagers play in their bedroom to play heavy metal. But right now it works, and I've been using it for this tour. Uh, why don't you get down on my pedal board? People are wondering about, about my pedal board, so I'm going to plug back in. I'm going to go. I'm going to clean up my guitar tone here. And you can see what I have. The guitar starts, and uh, it starts, if I'm playing with the snake oil band, I'll use this more and in in bearing sparingly. It's a pitchfork. Tonight I have it as an octave. So it sounds like a bass guitar. And I saved that for certain jams. A second pickup is a beat up old chorus from the 1980s. And that just adds a little space and a little, you know. And I'll use that sparingly, you know, at certain choruses of a song or if it's a ballad. I haven't gotten into this one yet, my auto wah. Since I'm stomping with my right foot, I can't, I just don't have the ability to use a wah pedal. So I got an auto wall. I don't know if I'll use that much tonight because that's more for the band when we're jamming and some freakouts. The digital delay. I have this set up in a slapback. It's like you can hardly hear it. It is just one little repeat. Let me get rid of the reverb here. And the reason I have that is as a one-man band, you have to fill the air. So throwing on a di digital delay for just a slapback, it just adds almost like a second guitar behind me. Um, when I started this whole concert, I had the other delay on, and I have that for a long repeat. Reserve that for doing ragas and long trippy parts. Um, I have a sonic stomp. I'm not using it because of this amp, but that adds body, body to the guitar, and then the tuner. Uh, the other pedal here is not being used. That is a noise gate in case my foot stomper is too noisy in a certain club's PA. I'll run it through there and into the PA. Um, this is my latest foot stomper. We built this here at CB Giddy. This one is a prototype. It's made with a cigar box. has an internal preamp. And I tell you what, I have been playing stompers. I have bought the $250 ones. I have made six or seven different prototypes. This is the best I have ever played. If I play a club, and this is through their PA system, it will sound like a combat boot to your chest. And that's what I want. This is coming out very soon. We have three more prototypes that were made when we made this one. Those three will be special. Uh, and they will be out of the cigar boxes. After that, we are going to create our own special box for these so we can produce them in quantities and not have to worry about trying to find this one certain Ultra Crown box. Under Crown or whatever. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm babbling. We need to keep getting go through. Thunderbird guitar. Uh, I showed the five string here. I don't know who built it. It's awesome. Tuned to an open G. Um, let me see. St. Blues guitars out of Memphis, Tennessee. I will be playing this one soon. 
it is tuned to uh, open G actually tonight it's an open G sharp I sometimes just sharp or flat a guitar a little bit so that not all of my guitars are tuned to open G it just adds a little flavor to the show uh, this is St. Blues is making one of the best cigar box guitars their necks are just to die for it's like a Paul Reed Smith neck it's just, I love them um, I showed this one off earlier. Glenn Watt made this. This is the, the Mia Moore. I changed the strings on it and it's tuned EEB. Okay, um, I showed off this one. Josh Guy from uh, California made me this one back in 2009. Three string with a mini humbucker pickup. I play it everywhere. This guitar has been thrown across the stage at the end of many shows. It's made like a tank. Um, you know, <laughs> Josh forgave me for once I told him about that. And then last but not least is one that I built. Um, and this is the biggest piece of junk on stage. This is nothing but a broomstick through a cigar box. And this is my baritone. And uh, no volume, wired straight into a jack. It is 27 and a half inches of scale length. It is tuned to a low drop C. It is a rumbling evil force to be reckoned with. And uh, yeah, I just made it with a, it was a shovel handle from Lowe's that I used. And uh, Get rid of some of this treble here. Now I'm sure it's really buzzing in here. We're in a tight little room. Um, but I guess I'll start out my second set with with this one. Do we have any other questions, Ben, before I get back into the boogie? Check that. Check your little laptop. Well, there's been questions coming in. Uh, I think you just answered a lot of them, asking questions about tuning and the pedals and and uh, how the guitars are set up. Uh, trying to keep up with them here. You want to know a little, um, uh, it's kind of a cool thing. The Baritone Drop C, actually one of the most popular bands to use this. They actually went one step up C sharp but was the president of the United States of America. They used a three-string guitar and two-string. Yeah. Shane, one question was, all right, it's a longer scale length. It's called a baritone guitar. Why would somebody, why would you want to add that to your repertoire? Why would you want to add a baritone to your repertoire? Um, this is why. <laughs>
running track, the boss gonna bring my back. challenge instead of just me inviting people onto the stage when I hosted the open mic um, I started a songwriting challenge and every week we asked the people to come up we, we created a theme and told the people they had one week to write a song to go along with that theme and it could be just a crappy little first draft but if they showed up for the next week they got their name in a hat and after 13 weeks um, if you showed up every week, you got 13 slips of paper into the hat, and uh, you had a chance to win one of my cigar box guitars. And what it did was it encouraged people to write new music. Well, this song came from that challenge. One week I was feeling kind of weird, because, I mean, our themes were sometimes summer or cold, or I don't know, it was one word themes. But one week I showed up at the open mic and I said, here's your theme, right from this point of view. You're sitting in jail, falsely accused by the one you love. Write that song. This is a song I showed up with in the following week. Gray when I blow this joint. 
I'm not gonna push your ass to make my point. My sister was, sister was again. 29 years till I see your ass again. Until I'm at the front door Oh yeah I'm 49 I'm 49 minutes until I'm at the front door Woo! Oh lordy, what time do we have? See, we gotta watch the clock because Facebook this Facebook Live only gives us 90 minutes, so we want to make sure we're in the, on the time right. We've got about 23 more minutes. All right. I've been doing a lot. I've been doing this song a lot lately because Dead Heroes sell.
when I always roll my sleeve up, even when we both went gray. I want to show that old tattoo of our covered wild days. You've been gone several years. When I just can't fight those tears, roll I roll up my sleeve to that tattoo of you. I'm still wearing like a bad baby. I'm still wearing like a medal of honor. Shane, we have a request. Oh no. <laughs> What's our request? And it's not so much a request for a song as it is a request mm. to play an instrument. Let's see. This is an instrument that uh, a friend of mine, Mason Haynes, said. Oh, wow, we're springing this on me. Oh. Yeah, no, nothing heavy. Uh, he's got, it's a, a metal case uh, for the resonator there. He's got a Bluebird Pies. Bluebird pie lid in there. Mm -hmm. Shane's a big fan of the pie lid. Uh, it's got a magnetic pickup, so it should be. Uh, there it is. Oh, it's tuned to open, open, G. open G. I got her tuned for you. Don't worry.
Six minutes. Six minutes? Alright, six minutes. So we did our spirituals. So we're going to mix the sacred with the profane. My name is Shane Spiel. Thank you for CB Giddy, CBGiddy.com for hosting this. Thanks to Cigar Box Nation Television. And we ask one thing, people. Do not send us money for this. That's not how we work. All we want you to do is share this on Facebook. If you like it, share it on Facebook. Tell your friends. There's going to be a lot more broadcasts. Next, next week, me and Glenn Kaiser are going to be in concert together on Thursday night. But until we get the gospel going on there, I'm going to go to the profane. So thank you. I love you all. Let's play the blues! This is dedicated to Axel Rose! Living easy, living free Our season ticket on a one-way ride Ask one of us, living free I'm taking everything in stride Don't need reason, don't need rhyme Ain't nothing I would rather do Go down, find a child My friends are gonna be there too I'm on a high Yeah. 
Kids.